This theory drop is on Laura Mulvey's male gaze, an idea that she first suggested in Visual Pleasures and Narrative Cinema, published in 1975, the year when gender discrimination finally became illegal in the UK. Um, We've looked through the idea of male gaze in class. Um, It generally focuses on three perspectives. So the male gaze is broken into the person behind the camera, uh, the characters that are within the representation, and the spectator Um, and it's a theory that suggests that women are displayed as erotic objects only both for the characters within the film um, and for the spectator who will be watching the film Um, she regards the man as the dominant power within uh, the created film fantasy he's the one with agency he's the character who drives the narrative meanwhile the woman is passive um, and part of a patriarchal order within the film. They're expected to enjoy the attention of the dominant male because their purpose is to be looked at. They do not have any agency within the film. Um, She also uses the idea of narcissistic identification uh, to describe the male gaze. Worth pausing to look at that. Um, To cut a long story short, Narcissus was a beautiful young man who found himself beside a pool, uh, looked into the water, saw the most beautiful young man and fell deeply in love uh, without realising that it was actually somebody else. And it's an idea that is probably quite relevant in our social media world, um, the age of the narcissistic uh, selfie, uh, certainly something that we can apply there. But in terms of music video, uh, there are three main areas perhaps to think about in relation to Laura Mulvey's theory. Uh, The idea of men looking at women, uh, do they tend to focus on women's body? Does the camera tend to uh, frame uh, their bodies in a way that disembodies and objectifies them and are they often dressed provocatively in other words for the visual pleasure of a predominantly male audience think also about women looking at themselves uh, within the representation are they made to look at themselves negatively are they made to think that personality doesn't matter uh, that it's all about the way they look And think also about women looking at other women. Do they compare themselves uh, often with negative effects? Do they provide ways of identifying with um, and imitating examples of womanhood that aren't always realistic? Um, Those are the areas to think about. Uh, That's the theory that is very useful for uh, your coursework. And this is me signing off.